then a journey long, the end unsure. But Mary's burden couldn't wait. The donkey stumbled, she gasped in pain. I need a place, a place to rest, but where? He was newborn like other animals on hay, as sheep and cows pressed close in search of food and warmth. He cried fretfully. The angels sang. And we woke 2,000 years along to gaze at whirling snow in silent, splendid celebration of his birth. Pure, not yet adulterated, sinless white, redeeming grace, a gift laid gently on our very doorstep that we might share the universal joy. Hours later, the shovels echoed all around the neighborhood, ruthlessly restoring modern modes of travel and communication, the hard work of real Christianity, accepting differences among us, feeding, sheltering, helping others heal, Salt and sand sprinkled carefully to save us from an accidental slip into eternity. Thank you. This is the first song I've, I've written to, to myself in a long time. And um, yeah, it's, it feels good. I'm standing on my back porch Remembering you in that chair Your frown was so deep then, my dear church bells today remind me of your face can't let this anger go I can see the whole city now.
and it's wider than Thank you. And uh, Kate and Lauren, that was wonderful. Thank you. Very inspiring. I love Kate's uh, notion that uh, collaboration can happen across centuries. And uh, this is an example of that. I co-wrote this with an unknown Irishman from the late 19th century <laughs> and William Butler Yeats. <laughs> Seems appropriate on a time when uh, so much positive energy is activated by women across the country this, this weekend. One evening so late as I rambled On the banks of a wild rushing stream I took shelter from oncoming weather Fell into an unquiet dream I dreamed I beheld a fair maiden Her equal I'd ne'er seen before she cried for the sake of our country As she strayed along Liberty's shore I rose and I boldly addressed her Fair maid, what's the cause of your pain? And why to this perilous country In the midst of these dangers you came She said, I carry this lantern To lift and give light to the world I have come to awaken my brethren Who slumber on liberty's shore She said with all innocence drowned it And virtue confused and afraid with the good lacking direction and the bad full of passion and rage. Now is the time we must summon the spirit of love and accord to vanquish the wrongs of our country and cast them from liberty's shore then in a flurry of lightning Thunder ruptured my dream 
this beautiful maiden had left me. Though I know I shall see her again. May the heavens before her split open. A storm that we cannot ignore To awaken my sisters and brothers Who slumber on liberty's shore I write songs and I write poetry, and every once in a while I come across a piece of mine that could go either direction. So this is a song that's a poem. Once upon a time, a long time ago, I had a car for 17 years. It was my Plymouth Barracuda. It was a guy magnet. <laughs> <laughs> I'd drive into a gas station and a perfect stranger would come over and lean in my window and say, is it a slant six engine? <laughs> so luckily somebody had told me it was, so. <laughs> Unfortunately, it was a guy magnet for teenagers. It got stuck broken into 13 times. A number of those times it actually got driven off. They found it one time go going round and round the Burlington Mall in the middle of the night. Somebody was joyriding. So after a while, the police took pity on me. And they showed me which part of the engine you remove and put in your pocketbook. <laughs> so they may break in, but they can't take the car. So anyhow, this is a love song to my Plymouth Barracuda. <laughs> oh, my Plymouth Barracuda is sending out its siren call for its dashing slant six engine catches strong men's hearts in thrall. Though they raise the hood and ponder why such beauties have to stall when the rain collects in puddles and the car won't even crawl. Oh, my sexy barracuda is painted such a shiny blue, and its slope back is so racy as it glows with morning dew. If you flip the back seat forward, you can handily sleep too, but you need to park it wisely, for there's really quite a view. <laughs> Oh, my vagrant barracuda is tempting scores of teens unknown, for they try to come and steal it so their prowess can be shown. But they weary with the sunrise when they finally cease to roam. Then the cops are kind and help me as we bring it safely home. <laughs> oh, my aging barracuda has lasted 17 long years. Though there's holes right by its gas tank, adding fuel to all my fears. Now it's time to pat it fondly and be careful how it steers. As I take it to the dealer and I say goodbye with tears. Yes, I say goodbye with tears. <laughs> I used to talk about uh, beauty and um, beauty of human beings and beauty of nature in our world, but I can see always, and I can see, unfortunately, I can see sickness too. So this poem is a little bit different than I used to we hear with my poetry. Bridge of True Connections. Walking for the cold, glazed blue path of my feelings and thoughts, I feel lost an attached of the real world. Is our world now genuine? Square world. Through the screen of my computer, by the screen of my cell phone, who is she? Who is he? 
to square world. I see everything framed. Surround, surrounded by 90 degree angles in the emptiness of my bedroom, I create the beautiful prison, the fanciful illusion of masks, filters, and effects that are nothing more than a, the window of a sick, superficial, empty world, but with the most colorful, fake backgrounds. What are you doing? Creating characters from ourselves to play in a vast virtual playground of fictitious characters? What are you doing? By keeping just the virtual connections in our lives, we are more lonely, depressive, and unhappy. I see people going on dangerous ways, like slaves of a false reality. I don't want to change the real meaning of being human. We need balance. We need true hugs, true relationships, true moments. I began a new project to seek this balance between the virtual and the real. I'm building a bridge a bridge of real connections. We are in need of more profound connections. The world screams for that. I invite you to create your own bridge. Take your time, but don't wait so much to begin. And after your bridge is ready, cross it. Go fearlessly. You can do that. It's a self-discovery trip. We, together, can connect more and more bridges, transforming real lives through deeper relationships. Just cross the bridge. Thank you. <laughs> hey, this, was, uh, this has been really, really great. Um, so I don't actually write any poetry myself, but, uh, but my mom does. And so Mrs. Peralt asked me to, to read one of her poems. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, this one is called Crystal. In the crystal palace of my mind, I dwell in a jeweled jade tower, scanning my world, deep valleys below, soaring mountains high. Love, peace, beauty, calm, a wonderful, a wonderful turtle swimming in the vast azure crystal ocean, great diamonds and blue sapphires shining from his shell. Iridescent, iridiant, glowing, moonlike, ghost-like, pure. Stop longing for things that don't exist. Here and now, that's all, that's it. Radiance, glory, praise, grace, joy, non-delusion, non-separation, spiritual action. God is in me, hallelujah, I am free. to be here. I won't say anything, but just I have noticed a bird theme. So continuing on with the bird themes from loons to seagulls to now falcons. Falcon 
when the sky just wouldn't move and I knew with my mouth that I wasn't meant to sing the blues so I filled my eyes with the darkest green and I searched for gold inside of me and I wondered aloud what I could be I wondered aloud what I could be now I fly free I fly free there's a bird inside of me and it is free and I climbed a mountain the shape of my mother's back the snow and fell on my eyelids and its lightness made me laugh and I looked around at the tracks I saw of the men who've hated and the men who've loved and I wondered aloud am I of their blood wondered aloud am I of their blood now I run free I run free my mother's inside of me With the things that I've seen, I'll keep my eyes wide open, safely sleeping for my dream. Cause the view up here is better than this little box they put me in. And these feathers feel light upon my skin. And these Feathers feel good upon my skin and I am free. I am free. There's a bird. This is um, for those moments when uh, everything feels new again. Whoops, can we make it a little bit louder? Given me the sun on a rainy day. Now there's castles of sparkling diamonds, once only clay. And in your eyes I see dreams, my storms long ago swept away. New life's just beginning, now there's only joy first and ever joy love sends me out to Jupiter and calls me back again see the stars touch the moon use Big Dipper for your spoon so 
love's everlasting, sights far outlasting, fireworks of rainbows blasting and blasting. First joy, first and ever joy. of unmatched madness living with and healing sadness connecting hearts together love's promise forever ever and ever love's here Around the sun we keep spinning In and through our lives Love keeps weaving Now that everything's in bloom What's there to do? Tiptoe barefoot on the moon Thank you so much. Thank you. Peach and pear.